Live, yes, we are live. What's going on, my friends? It's your boy, Justin Wilmot, AKA the 10-hour wholesaler, coming at another live YouTube video where we check the surf and I give you some real estate wholesaling tips, quick tips. So first and foremost, we check the surf, like always, and um, we'll go from there. So right off the bat, it's a little cloudy day, but see, hopefully you can see over that, over that brim, not bad, not bad. See, there's that black, there's that black um, railing, that guardrail, that sheet, you know, it's actually landscaping sheathing. But they put that up since the hurricane came through because it messed up our dunes. Let's see if I can get you guys a better look here when I pull up to the break. But um, anyway, today's topic, after we check the surf, is going to be about um, the team, right? The perfect team that you need to wholesale. And I just want to, I'm not going to get into to very specific details about who, uh, you know, who and how. Um, there's something much more important that you need to know about a team before you even are concerned about uh, those types of things. So first off, surf. Let's see here. It's high tide. It's a beautiful day. Look, it's always beautiful to check the surf and see if we're going to paddle out before work. But, uh, so far comes a set. Ah. It's barely breaking on that sandbar. It's barely breaking on the sandbar. We call that high tide when it's too high and it's not touching the sandbar. It won't really break that well. But nevertheless, it's still a beautiful day. My paddle out anyway. I'd like to get some surf on before I get my work on. So anyway, a team. So what is the perfect team? in order to out, uh, wholesale more houses. I get that asked to me all the time because I'm known as the guy that outsources everything, which I do. And some I keep internal and some I um, outsource 100%. So people across the world or across the country or within the country. Um, looks like we got poor connection. Hopefully it jumps back on here. Let's give it a minute here. Hopefully this connection gets better. Looks like it got better. It looks like it's running better. So um, it doesn't matter, right? Whether we are having people internally or, or externally, what matters is your own personal, uh, where you are in your life and in your business right now. So realistically, what are the resources that you have available to you? What is your experience in managing and working and motivating other people? And um, what do you feel more comfortable with? Like, what are you authentically gonna do? Are you somebody that wants somebody in-house right now, right? Um, or are you somebody that would rather um, get your feet wet, so to speak, in outsourcing some of these tasks like building buyers lists and reaching out to motivated sellers? Would you rather outsource that to a virtual assistant? And what's cool about virtual assistants is um, they don't need to be in, you know, China or the Philippines. They can be domestic. They can be full-time staff members. The, the, the times have changed. I have virtual people that I have only met once that work within my company and I've literally only met them once and they work full-time. So, um, and they're like, you know, full-time staff. They work with me and like two other companies. So that's kind of the new world order right now. And it's cool to know that that's available to you because you can you can pay them in many different ways. You can pay them up front, you can pay them salary, or you can pay them commissions off of the deal or, or performance-based um, compensation. So when you close a deal, you pay them. So, so think about it, you know, what are you good at? What are your strengths? Do you currently manage people in your current job or, or in your current company? If you do, I would suggest building your internal team. Um, there's nothing wrong with having a mix of both. I got a mix of both. So. So if you're not used to having any management skills and you have no money or you believe you have no money to outsource anything right now or to hire a salary, right? That, see, that's a big thing. When we think of outsourcing or, or bringing on team members, all we can do is think about that $30,000 or $40,000 salary that you are responsible for. But I'm gonna get into more details about that uh, in, in future you know, in, in future videos. But what's really important is to just get your feet wet. So figure out what your, you know, what your capabilities are right now, where your strengths are, and find out exactly what it is that you wanna outsource. And then just go outsource that one thing, one step at a time. Start with a virtual assistant. Maybe the virtual assistant stuff, it worked well for you and you stick with it. Maybe it didn't. So then you could go to another step further and that'd be like virtual assistant teams. So that's where teams of people, you literally pay them, let's say $200 a month, $400 a month, $1,000 a month, 
depends on how big your company is and how big your business is. You pay them and they take care of all the services for you. Seller lead generation, buyer lead generation, um, uh, negotiating with your, um, they'll even do negotiations, um, but um, closing coordinations, they'll do all those things for you. Maybe that's in your budget. Maybe you can pull that off, right? Maybe you feel like, hey, I could pay the first month, I'll get the, that next deal done, and then I'll be able to pay the next month. So maybe that's an option. Maybe that's not an option at all, <clears throat> and you just need to recruit somebody um, and pay them uh, on a pro bono, right? Pay, pay them uh, performance-based, right? So, so you can do that as well. So um, Eric says, I like that format. Cool, man. What's up, buddy? So, so guys, there are options, but my recommendation is at least start now outsourcing. If you're a one-man band, figure out what is the path of least resistance for you right now. Just figure that out. Like literally just make a decision t this morning on what's best and then just at least start. At least start. Get your foot wet. Get your foot wet, right? Get your toes wet. Um, if it's if it's like, hey, that's it. I want somebody inside. I want somebody internal and I want them to do, let's say, acquisitions for me. Well, then, 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 then pursue that one thing right now. Or, hey, I don't want to have anybody internal. I don't want to be responsible for anybody at the moment. I'm not there yet. Insert whatever belief you have then, okay, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go virtual, and I'm gonna pick either freelancers, or I'm gonna get a virtual assistant team, and I'm just gonna pay this team to do a lot of these tasks for me. Now you have a lot of work in front of you, right? Because you gotta start vetting people, you gotta start making sure who's real, you gotta look for reviews on people that have been successful with those teams, or those individuals, the experience that they have, all those things. So um, that's just some food for thought, guys, but I promise you that a team, and outsourcing it, not only is your life, is, oops, sorry, First, not only are you gonna make more money and do more deals, but your life is gonna be better. You're gonna have more of a, you're gonna have an actual lifestyle. And that's what we're here for, right? So I uh, hope that was a good tip for you guys. Signing off from beautiful Flagler Beach. A set just came through. I was gonna show it to you, but I was in the middle of a, trying to make an important point. But um, it's a beautiful day, guys. So go out there, make a great day. Um, take that first step into outsourcing and uh, to your success, to freedom.